Hi, it's me again with another craft tutorial for you. Today we're making macrame plant hangers. To start with, you have a lot of string. Your string probably is not in a knot. Mine might be. I'm not exactly sure because I cut this. And since I cut this, it probably is in a knot. The first thing you want to do when you get your string out after you detangle it. Some of you actually might have a loose knot in your string to help it keep from tangling, which is what I should have done with this. So just untie that and line your ends up like this. You can brush out your string. You will have four strands and they will be long. Four long strings. Four big knots. I don't know. Could be either. Could be both. This is macrame cord. It's cotton. Um, if you decide you like macrame and want to make more, um, the peaches and cream stuff that they sell at Walmart will do the trick if you want to use that or it's available on Amazon or in a lot of different craft stores. So you've got a lot of options to find more of it. A lot of people also put beads, like wooden beads. So if you have big wooden beads that will go through this, you can add those to this project if you want. Okay, I've lined up my ends on both sides. And now I want to fold this huge long thing in half so that all eight ends from my four strings are more or less together. See? There they are. But I don't want to work with those ends. I want to work with the foldy end. So drop these loose guys fold the end. You want to make a tie at the top so that you can hook it onto things and hang it. I don't have a hook here, so I can't show you how to hook things. Um, I guess, let's pretend this is a hook on my wall. That's what you want. Although ideally you'll have a little loopy loop so that this guy won't fall off. But you can use something called an S hook that you can find at the hardware store. It's shaped literally like the letter S. Um, or you can get a kind of hook that goes on your ceiling that goes in a J shape. That works really well too. I'm sure that there's a command hook for this. Basically you just want something that's big enough that this guy's not going to fall off because it's going to have glass in it. So you want to knot, make a little loopy loop, see your loop, wrap this end like this and through and that makes a knot. If you have trouble with knots, if you're not sure about knots, take a look on the paper that was in your craft kit. There is a link there. You can go directly to that link and the lady on that website has gone through and shown you how to make a lot of different macrame knots. Um, don't trust her measurements because I initially cut all of these strings to her exact inch measurements and they were wrong. So we had to recut more of this. And now I have to find something to do with half length macrame cord, but I'm not getting rid of it. Okay, so you've tied your knot. You wanna start tying more knots. So you can either hook this onto something which is not possible for me to do and to still show you what I'm doing. Or not, you can lay it flat. Um, I also can't show you anything flat because I don't know how to do that. But basically you want to separate this into sets of two. It does not matter right now which strings become sets of two. So you will have four sets like this. And pick a point part way down We'll just pick like, what's that end up being? Uh, six or so inches, seven, eight, this is probably nine inches. Does not matter. And you want to tie another little knot, much like your first knot, except instead of tying like this, you're going to pull your end all the way through. You will not have a loop. You will have a knot that looks like that. You can tighten it a little, but I would wait till the end. Now that you've tied two of your things together, you have a measurement.
of where you want your other knots to be. So you're going to repeat that with your other three pairs of strings. And when you have your second one, you can kind of shimmy it down the line until it is more or less friends in length with that guy. I'm going to do this two more times real quick because this video can be 20 minutes long. I don't know how to edit guys. I still don't know how to edit. How many months has it been? Nobody's come out of the woodwork and said, hey Laura, I'm a secret video editor. Can I help you? Um, you can still do that. You could be that person for me. Because chances are, no, uh, nobody's going to teach me how to do it in the interim other than you. These knots don't have to be exactly level. It's not going to make that big of a difference, but um, just kind of try. I say this because one of mine is not level now. It doesn't matter. Okay. Friendly knots. There are four. See them? More or less the same. Not really. Not even close. Um, I could loosen these and shimmy them around. Um, I probably should because I'm teaching you. So just loosen them. This is why we don't tighten yet. Um, we tighten at the end um, so that we do not end up with um, something sad instead of something cute. Okay, that's more or less even. Ta-da! Four even knots. Now, you're going to make these knots be friends with each other. So let's say you take two. Now, each two has two strings. You're going to take the strings that are close to each other. See these two strings? They both come from these knots. There will be a loose knot, a loose string on either side of them. You don't care about that yet. You're going to take these two strings that are friends and you're going to go a little bit down. Doesn't have to be very far. It should be less far than you did last time. And you're going to tie a little knot like that. So now, it's going to be hard to show you until I have something in it. You will have made a V shape. See that, guys? And these little guys are going to get tied to the knots next to them. Um, you're making, basically, all the knots connect to each other. Um, it helps to lay it flat when you do this or to hang it up so that you can see a little bit better. Um, that's not going to be very much a thing I can do for you, um, but there is a picture on your tutorial and maybe I can figure out how to insert a picture here. I don't know. I don't know guys. I wish I could. I know what I can do. I can do a thing. Look what I can do. I can pick you up. Look at my messy office. Woo! Do you see? Ish. My thing here is that I can't see what you can see now. I can't see what you can see, guys. That didn't work at all. I'm sorry. It's hard to be a non-professional videographer, craft, vlog, creature, creator. I don't know. I'm a librarian, guys. I buy books. That's what I'm good at. Okay. I almost have all of these created in my little squares. I'm going to turn you around. I know how to do that, right? I can't turn you around. Okay. We're good. Um, you're going to have a thing that looks like this. You're going to have two loose guys that have not yet been tied to anybody else. You're going to tie them to each other. Because we're very monogamous here with knots. Every knot has a partner. They want to get married. That's what they want to do. Okay, so essentially what you've done now is made a tube. You can't really tell because there's nothing in it. 
but it is tube-like. And you can stick your hand into it and see that you have made a tube shape. What you did there with tying the strings together, you're gonna do it again, but you're not gonna do it with the same strings. Like we'll take these two friends that are next to each other. Um, you're going to divide out the strings here and tie your two neighbors together like this. That will make a diamond shape. So when you lay it down and you look at it, you will say, I have many V's. Laura, you have made me make many V's. And I would say, yes, I have made you make many V's. But the V's don't want to be V's. They want to be diamonds. So you're going to tie them together, kind of equidistant down, so that they can be little diamonds. And again, this is going to be very hard to show you, but I'm going to put something in it. And then you'll see it and it will make sense you can more or less tell which ones of these were next to each other so you're gonna go with what was next to each other and choose the neighbor strings again you're almost done you don't have to do this again this is the last time So how, how's life? Anybody doing sporty things? I hear sports balls a thing right now. Many people are sports balling. I don't know anything about sports ball. Got kicked in the head a few times trying to play sports ball. One time I got a um, dodgeball to the side of the face, broke my brand new glasses. I was bleeding. It was terrible. And uh, they still didn't let me skip dodgeball. Okay, so you have made now a longer tube. It has diamond shapes. Give me a second. I got you a jar. Are you proud of me? Okay, you're theoretically gonna have your jar with you when you're doing this. I left it on the other side of the room. So, your hangy thing is gonna hold a hangy jar. If you put these little knots closer together, it's gonna look a little different. You might like it more. You can put the knots closer together. I kind of made this a little looser because I was intending to use a bigger jar because I have a bigger plant that I want to put in this. So what you're going to do is when you've settled your jar into its home and separated your little knotty knots, it's going to sit inside and you're going to tie a big knot at the bottom. Now, as you can see here, this would benefit from a bigger jar. We'll just try my jar of safety pins, which happens to be right here. Because my knots are further apart. If you put your knots closer together, that's probably better for you. I think I gave my knots like maybe three inches apart, but see, that's going to hold the bigger jar for me. So you just measure like the idea of how far apart you want your stuff to be. And you can, this is why we don't tighten our knots. When you're all done and you like the distance and you like how big your diamonds are there, then you tighten your knots. And then you'll have your little jar and you have this friend. This is an air plant. You've probably seen them before if you did the summer reading crafts. An air plant lives without dirt. It lives in the air because it is an air plant. Unfortunately, it is also still alive because it's a plant. So it needs things that aren't dirt, like air and also water. Water is a good thing. 
So when you put your little friend inside the little jar, you need to give him some of the stuff that he will not have in the jar, like water. Um, spritz him, little spray bottle, one time a week. Or you can take him back out of the jar, put him into something like a cup, put water over him so he is submerged in the water, count to one minute. Remove your little friend from the water. Shaky, shaky, get some extra water off of him, plop him back in there. If he's going brown, he's thirsty. Give him some water. If he's dying, he's been too watered. They're desert plants, they don't need a lot of water. Um, if it's dead, belly up. Take a little LED um, tea light, stick it in there, or get some of those little LED fairy lights around Christmas time. Pop those guys in there. Um, if those die, change the battery. Don't, don't, don't put fire in here because this is flammable. Not this. This would melt. This is flammable. You don't want to set your house on fire, so don't do that. Anyway, craft tutorial. Good luck. If you have trouble, you know where to find me. I'm at the library. Ask for me at the desk. They will come and get me, and I will show you mine up close so you can see it. Because um, it's not that hard to do. It's just hard to show. Um, happy crafting.